It is widely accepted that Apple's MacBook Pro's touchpad are one of the best out there. And the touchscreen on the Surface Pro is great. I don't disagree with any of that, but sometimes for better productivity and ease of use, it's just easier to have a mouse available. Yes, wireless mice have been around for a while, but what happens if you lose the USB receiver or say it gets broken? You have to toss it and buy a new one. Or you have to carry around extra batteries to make sure that it, you don't get interrupted in the middle of your workflow. Well, Logitech took care of that. Let's take a look. Taking a look at the Productivity Plus mouse from Logitech, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Um, it quotes a 36 month battery life, or at least up to 36 months. Uh, there's seven customizable buttons, the vertical scroll and horizontal scrolling with that. The biggest thing that I like about this is the unifying receiver. This part is what makes this whole thing worth the $24.95 that I got it from from Sam's Club. On the back it's got the same information, the seven controls or seven um, customizable buttons, the up, down, and left, right scroll, back, forward button for going forwards and back in web navigation, and it comes with a set of batteries. Let's take it open and let's take a look at it. There's a Logitech unifying receiver remote or receiver. This can be used with all the Logitechs that have app, that symbol on it. So if you get another mouse, you can attach it to this receiver. Um, another set of keyboards and mice that you can attach to this receiver as well. So it's a really cool little unifying remote. It's nice, <clears throat> and it's nice that it comes with batteries. A lot of things don't come with batteries anymore. Logitech is pretty proud of this scroll wheel. They say you can scroll up to a thousand lines of code really quickly. They call it hyper scrolling. You can either have it in the standard, I don't know if you can hear that, or you can turn that off and it just spins. Let's take a look at the software that you install. So the mouse is set for a right-handed new user only. For me, myself personally, this fits relatively well in the palm of my hand. Now, I do have a medium frame, so it's going to be a hit or miss depending on what size of hands that you have. Um, it's a little bit smaller to me, or at least a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. I'm used to one of those big bulky trackballs uh, that I've been using for years. 
Once you do install the USB and turn the mouse on, it automatically discovers it and you can already use it. But we're going to go ahead and install the Logitech options. No, we don't want to share data. Same procedure that would be we would be going through in Windows 10 like we are right now on the Surface Pro. You'd be doing the same thing with Mac OS. Um, it works in 10.11 OS and up. Um, so you should be able to use this in um, El Capitan all the way up to High Sierra, or I'm sorry, Mojave and um, Catalina, I'm sure. I do currently use this software on Mojave for my keyboard and mouse attached to the Mac Pro 5.1. Um, so it should just be, it's all going to be the same. And we don't want to log in or create. So in the application that gives you the capability of changing the way that things are done and everything else like that, you can swap the left and right buttons, you can change the way that the scroll and the pointer speed is, smooth scrolling disabled, traditional scroll wheel, you can also do more and it will give you more information and everything else like that. Let's see, software tells you the version of the software, it's 8.10.154, and you can do an automatic update to check. We'll go ahead and what I want to do is to take a look at adding a device. So right here we can add a device. We can either set up a Bluetooth device if it's capable of uh, Bluetooth, which um, my other keyboard and mouse are. The Surface Pro uses the Bluetooth um, low power profile, so it's uh, that Bluetooth 4.0 or beyond, um, whereas the Mac Pro 5.1s, the 3.1s, all of the Mac Pro's lines, they use the, four, uh, the original version of Bluetooth, so the Bluetooth devices um, on the keyboard and mouse that I use for the Mac Pro, unfortunately they do have Bluetooth inside of them but they, that will not work with it. We can also add a unifying device here. If you want to, um, I can add a device to this unified re receiver that will work as well as the mouse that came with it, um, which is pretty cool so that you can use multiple mice or multiple keyboards for different unifying receivers, just making sure that one of those is turned on and the other one's turned off but absolutely pretty cool on this whole ordeal. It's really neat to find a mouse that you can use the unifying receiver with. Um, if you do ap accidentally lose your unifying receiver or break it, you can always get one from Logitech directly. I think they're $14.95 if you order it directly from them. Um, I'm sure we'll see unifying receivers pop up on eBay a lot for uh, on the used market. But for right now, this is just an absolutely amazing mouse. I like the ergonomics on it. Um, I really like the battery capacity on it. Um, up to 36 months, uh, that's just phenomenal. That way I don't have to carry around batteries with me if I'm going mobile for some reason or another. Um, the unifying remote, like I said, it's just absolutely amazing. I can hook up my keyboard and everything else and another wireless mouse to this. If I wanted to say get the smaller mobile version, the 315, I can leave this unifying remote into this system and I can just pair that mouse up to it and I don't even have to take the big ergonomic mouse with me. It's just absolutely amazing. So if you are looking in the market for a new mouse or any a new keyboard and mouse combo, take a look at Logitech. They, they have just added put it out of the park with the, the unifying receiver. The only thing that I do think that they may have missed the ball with um, would be the unifying receiver is not USB-C or there's not an option for USB-C. It's currently the USB 2.0 or 3.0 spec, um, but I'm sure you can get an adapter that would go straight to USB-C to use with any laptop that comes out with that at this point. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.